Bacteria thrive anywhere food is commercially prepared or served. That's why FDA Food Code requires the use of sanitizers on food contact surfaces, in wear washing systems, and in three compartment sinks. Sanitizers reduce bacterial levels, but when it comes to killing germs, more is not necessarily better. Too much can be harmful, even toxic, while too little won't do the job. That's why Health Code requires that sanitizer concentrations are checked with test kits regularly. Here's how to keep food safe and people healthy. Testing Quaternary Ammonium Solutions Prepare the quat solution according to the manufacturer's instructions. When testing the accuracy of its dilution, be sure to choose the correct kit for the chemical in use. The sanitizer manufacturer may specify a particular kit. The test procedures for QT10 and QT40 kits are the same. Always check the expiration date before use. The quat test solution should be between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure the solution is still and the foam is dispersed. Moving the strip or testing just the foam can lead to elevated readings. Tear off two inches of test paper and dip the strip into the sanitizing solution. Hold it steady for 10 seconds. Then remove it and compare it to the kit's color chart. If there are darker bands, use the dominant color for matching. Be sure to retest every two to four hours. You may need to adjust the solution if repeated tests don't meet your target. And be sure to test all sanitizer buckets and spray bottles too. Test kits are reliable and easy to use, and they're required by health code. So always remember to dip the strip.